a flat roof, or I should say slightly sloped. The problem here is that the architect who redid this house, flipped it a few years ago, didn't carefully check the roof slope. And actually, the roof slope is a little bit low for the type of roofing they used, which is the modified bitumen. This roofing is supposed to have a half 12 uh, pitch or larger. It does work on this roof, but we noticed a bunch of ponding, uh, which is where water stays for more than 24 hours. Finally found one company that makes a product that's called Roof Slope. I will put the link underneath this, but if you look up Roof Slope, you'll find the company. I had to go to a roofing supply to get it. As you see, it's a cement product. It's designed to fill voids to uh, help level out the roof, sort of the same way floor leveler is used, except this is roof leveler. And after you put that on, you put on these roofing granules, which are just a small gravel that's like on the roll roofing. Okay, so this part should be easy and evident enough. What you're gonna do is you're gonna mix up that roof slope material. Uh, it is a quick setting type of a cement. So make sure that your roof areas that you're gonna use it on are prepared, cleaned. Okay, so there's a good consistency, you know, sort of a yogurt type of a consistency. And I'm gonna take this up on the roof before it starts drying. I actually came up here and there was uh, some puddles up here and I marked it with a little bit of primer sort of where the areas were and then I checked them with my level. Another thing you can do sometimes is see where the pollen lies. Like you see this area right here where most of the green lies. That's probably an off level area and you can check it with the level. So I'll, I'll brush off as much dust and everything else like that as I can. Okay, so we can use a screed board just like you do concrete. And the high part is where, where one sheet overlaps the other. So the puddle tends to form in this area. The puddle tends to form in this area behind it. So by having about a two foot screed, and leveling it back to there, I should get the majority of the ponding area out of there. I'm gonna feather that rear so there's not another area there that builds up. Take the roofing gravel and see that's looking pretty good it almost looks like new raw roofing so uh, wor a word of warning about the different uh, roof coatings if your roof is old and doesn't have a perfectly um, clean dry flake free surface don't get tempted into using that silicone or acrylic based roof coatings they are only good with a properly prepared roof so maybe you want to have a professional do it if you're going to spend the big money for silicone roof coatings. Stay with the tar-based, asphalt-based type of thing, a solvent-based if you are gonna be a, a do-it-yourselfer. It's better to do it more often than to spend three or four or five times the price per gallon and then find it flaking up because the substrate wasn't good enough. Okay, hope you learned something from this little video. It sure enough kept my roof from leaking.